hello guys welcome back in this video we'll see what is the difference between marine conventional engine and electronic controlled marine engines i have made a separate playlist for the marine electronic control engine and i will focus on what sita soldier engine to explain you how this engine works i will give focus on electrical system and will also discuss the problem which i have faced uh, during my experience with this engine so do follow this playlist to know more about Wartsila Sulger electronic engine. Uh, I will be using this PowerPoint slides to explain you what is the difference between an uh, conventional engine and electronic engine. So the specific characteristic of electronic engines we have, there is no camshaft. So there is no camshaft present in electronic engine. And we also find reduced component and size weight. Because of less component attached to the electronic engine, we have reduced weight and size. They have, comes with higher efficiency than conventional engine. They are more environment friendly, less NOx, no visible smokes, easy on maneuvering and easy on maintenance also. And safety wise also, uh, it is more reliable. So uh, we have uh, two world leaders in two-stroke large diesel engine. They are MAN BMW and Soldier Wartsila engine. So I'll be talking about Soldier Wartsila engine. So two big companies are there, MAN and Wartsila. So in this page, you can see general layout of uh, marine conventional and marine electronic engine. So you can see here, conventional engine, they have many gears, you can see the chain drives and many things which are attached to this main engine but in electronic engine you will not see much gears you'll see in later videos about uh, these components which are there but these are the small things which we can point out that what is the difference between mc and me engines these are the electronic cards which they are used in uh, uh, this marine electronic engines so there will be a many cards and uh, for each unit which will be performing all the operations. So later we'll talk about it. The left hand side is your conventional or old design of Soldier uh, engines. And this is the latest one Soldier Artiflex. Watsila Soldier Artiflex. Artiflex flex is basically for electronic engine. So you can see all these red these left hand side red color, these are the components which are not present on this side. So these components are removed. Because of this, there are this you can say that uh, due to less component, we have less problems and the weight of the main engine is also reduced. So you can see all these big, big gears here, red color, they are not present over here. So. If you talk about VEC device, exhaust valve drive, fuel pump, camshaft, reversing servo motor, fuel linkage, actuator, VIT device, start, air distributor, camshaft drive, all these things are not present. Instead of all these things, we have Watsila engine control system for each individual unit. And there is a rail, rail unit, a common rail unit for all the unit. And we have a fuel pump, which is connected to your direct drive the gear to supply the fuel to your individual unit you can see with the marking like this is the rail unit this is the rail unit which is present on top so here you can see uh, all the pipeline for vcu and icus are uh, laid up here only and they are very congested so when you're working on it you have to be very careful so these are rail unit and this is VCS9520. This is a electronic control. All you can say your PCBs or electronic cards are present over here only. Just the, these sides, these sides, you can see these boxes are there. Sometimes you will find it below also, hanging below in old models. But the new models are coming with the side. So for any working, it will be easy. This is down, you can see supply unit is there which is attached with this main engine gear and then this will build up a fuel pressure which will then go to your fuel rack, fuel rail unit. And this is the automatic filter which is present here. You can see here, automatic filter. This is something like a 
backwash filter which will filter all the impurities and then it will go to your rail rail unit as i've told you earlier also with that diagram this rail unit vcs boxes automatic filters servo all unit fuel all supply unit here and this will be a letter to go up so it will cover like two three platforms you can see a man standing over here this is the electronic function uh, which i will talk about in my later videos do follow my playlist uh, to watch all the related videos for soldier electronic engine so guys i hope you got some idea based on the difference between the conventional what sealer soldier engine and the electronic control soldier engines so these are the basic difference which are present in conventional electronic engine so in next video we'll see what are the component which are attached to this electronic engine and what is the use of it so see you in the next video till then bye bye take care